Ordering two clothing collections a year is so last season. The latest trend in the sector is the fast fashion model, used by companies such as Zara or H&M. The essay professor Victor Martinez highlights how companies can use assortment rotation to increase consumer spending and gain competitive advantage. Fast fashion is a, is a relatively new business model uh, that has been maybe, it's, it's been called like that since uh, probably 1990s. Uh, it's more, uh, it's not a revolution uh, so much, it's more like the evolution of the, of the model from the, from the 80s uh, of quick response in fashion that was actually uh, applied very successfully by, uh, by companies like Benetton. Uh, so the traditional model of, of quick response, uh, the, the general idea was uh, if a company is able to uh, distribute its products very quickly, uh, one is able to design the product, buy it, uh, and essentially wait until the customers come to distribute the, the, the item. So the, the stores that, that you would find, for example, uh, Azara, would be um, a store that changes collections um, permanently every week, uh, you would see new things in the store. The assortments will change, the displays will change. Uh, those are stores that uh, essentially uh, have a product that moves very quickly, much much faster than, uh, than other customers. Uh, and together with the store, they have uh, actually changed the customer or, or found a new customer, customer that comes to the, uh, to the store more often because of this uh, rotation of, of product uh, that buys more in, probably more impulsively um, um, so this fact shows that you have these new stores are able to sell much more than the traditional stores. And this is what makes our success, actually. Assortment rotation is actually one of the big, big um, parts of the strategy of these companies. Uh, and the, the general idea is uh, if we rotate the assortment more often, uh, so on the one hand, we're going to incur in m higher design costs because we'll need to design more, uh, more, more products. Uh, so we'll need more designers. We'll need uh, probably more work on, on production uh, setups and so on. Um, and that's costly, right? But on the other hand, this has a component of uh, providing more variety for the consumers. Uh, and the general idea in that respect is uh, the, the, the stores are going to see more products introduced constantly. As a result, uh, customers will see, wow, this store actually has new things every week. What is your optimal level of assortment rotation? It's essentially the one that, uh, where the incremental sales that you achieve by rotating a little bit more are uh, matched with uh, the, actually the additional cost to do that. Inventory might be a danger here because we introduce more products, there are more chances of actually not selling those products and so having to discard them to salvage them at the end of the, of the, of the year or of the season. Uh, however, the companies that do this uh, have thought very, very, they have been very smart about it. Uh, they produce more items in smaller quantities. And that has an, an effect. So first of all, reduces the risk of, in, of having excess inventory. And second, because there are smaller quanti uh, quantities, uh, the item actually will stay less time in the store. And this is actually what actually drives consumers to buy faster. Particularly depends on what the competition does. If, the comp and if you have a competitor next door that does not rotate the assortment at all, that introduces product beginning of uh, so, be, you know, for the uh, winter season and does not change it until maybe six months later, it's a very easy thing. We don't need to rotate very much. By rotating a little bit of your store every week, we are infinitely better than this other competitor. So customers will naturally come to us more often. However, if the competitor rotates often, then we'll have pretty much no choice and we'll need to keep, keep the pace with this other competitor. However, rotation in, in itself it does not mean that the companies are the same. You'll have more variety and more variety, but those will be different products. So for the consumer, this is um, actually good. Uh, they will be differentiated in terms of what products they bring to market. Uh, 
one other key element of fast fashion is essentially all the operations component that, uh, that is uh, required to support this uh, sort of rotation. Uh, essentially, one is um, one of these uh, elements is to have a very uh, efficient and um, um, agile supply chain at the same time. So what does it mean? It means that we need the, a firm will need to control the supply chain uh, very well. Another one would be uh, lead time. Lead time is critical in the, in the quick response uh, uh, business model. Uh, and this is becoming more and more an issue because um, now, you know, the, Zara used to source a lot of their products from Spain, from Portugal, from Northern Africa. Now more and more from Eastern Europe and, uh, and Turkey, for example. Uh, and this is Im important. So if you can have products in four weeks that are uh, produced in Turkey and sold in uh, Spanish stores, this is a big, big difference. When most of uh, the traditional industry, uh, if they produce far away, for example, in, in, in Asia, it might take up to six months to do that. There are other industries that have similar uh, dynamics. Uh, you can think, for example, of, uh, of electronics. Electronics is becoming very much like fashion these days. So you have uh, new products coming into the market very often. Uh, you don't have the typical maybe year or couple of year cycle, but now every three months, every six months, you have a new uh, item, a product line extension uh, that is coming into the market. Uh, and actually, why, why do companies do this? Because this is a way to keep customers interested in the product. Uh, so very much like assortment rotation. And one can think, for example, in Japan, there is a very interesting example, 7-Eleven, uh, that has been, for example, launching fast food products every couple of months uh, to keep customers interested. So the customers would not get bored with, uh, with a product that is being uh, sold. Uh, and because you change the, what's on, on sale, you, know, you will see more people coming to the store. Um, and, and this is pretty much the same effect as assortment rotation.